This catalog and exhibition treats reform as evolution instead of huge change, as reformation with a small r. I love this picture of Martin Luther and the swan. It really refers back to an earlier reformation. John Huss, who's a Czech reformer, was burned at the stake in 1415. Huss means goose in Czech. When he's about to be executed, he says, you can burn a goose, but in a hundred years, a swan will be born, which you cannot silence. Hence, Martin Luther's emblem. And look, Luther's holding a tiny little red book. It's just like the red bound copy of the Lutheran New Testament that we have in this exhibition. The illuminated rosary is a really good example of reform with a small r. It has 56 pictures, including a picture of the original owner of the book holding her rosary written in French instead of Latin. It served as an aid so that common folk could share in the joys and sorrows of Christ by praying in their own language. Women as a class of readers are important for the Reformation. Here's an example where a noble woman, look at her headdress, is saying her prayers in front of an image of the Trinity. The manuscript has three very rare texts written in French, so she could easily read it. Many of the books in this catalog are from the Modern Devotion, a movement that originated in the Netherlands in the 14th and 15th centuries. Luther went to school in a modern devotion school. These people, called the modern devout, uh, promoted their right to read and write in their own language. Thomas Akempis, a member of this movement, wrote a book called The Imitation of Christ. It's called the most influential devotional book of all time because it exists in nearly a thousand languages. Latin copies, Dutch copies, Italian, Ripuarian German. It's truly a bestseller. This illuminated prayer book looks like a book of hours, but it's actually full of Protestant prayers. It includes hundreds of birds, animals, insects, flowers, strawberries, and beautiful handwritten calligraphy. It was made for a German prince a full hundred years after the invention of printing. I really like this Psalter. You can see that it has the Psalms set to music. Protestants used books like this in their own homes to gather together with friends and family and sing the Psalms. We could have called the exhibition something like From Convent to Congregation. A book like this really is about the democratization of faith.